rule ko sa sarili ko, I keep the work life and personal life separate. So, I work with um, other actresses and you know, walang mga problems, mga issues para priorities. So, okay. <laughs> I mean, siguro, Yes. <laughs> Ay, yes. I love you. Kasi ano ka, Anes? Oh. So, Nakapartner mo na ba? Sarot. Um, Namuhuya kami. <laughs> nakapartner baka, mo na ba? Baka nakapartner ko na. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, ang dami kong nakakatrabaho ang iba't ibang actors here sa Pilipinas and mababait silang lahat and I'm so thankful that they've been very welcoming to me. Dediretsahin ko na nga. Kamusta ka, Sir? Siyempre, ngayon, no? Paano na po kinga? Sabi mo na partner ka lang sa iba't ibang leading ladies and now your current partner in Spark and Blue is Zephany. Na hindi naman uma-acting, pero napa-acting siya sa Spark and Blue. So, kamusta yung partnership niya since parahin din kayong cornerstone and Spark and Blue? First of all, kay Zeph talaga, I'm so proud of her kasi I know this isn't her comfort zone as singer talaga siya, but passion niya umarte and she got this opportunity so nakakatuwa lang na um, na natapos namin itong project together. Zef was one of my first friends here sa Pilipinas uh, when I first came home so the fact that we got to work together for Sparkle You it's, it's super special. Yes. Ano ba? Yes, cornerstone kami and mas nag GMA together same time din so masaya masaya kami kasi pinangarap namin yun na magka serie or something together here this now. <laughs> It's comfortable ka kasi siyempre you're working with someone who's familiar with you already. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was my first time working with someone <laughs> I've been close with and it was an experience kasi parang there's pros and there's cons but yung pro talaga is that we're comfortable with one another and we're there to look out for one another which is very important. Michael, how do you handle na pinag-prepare kayo ni Zephany? Masaya naman po. I mean, uh, pinag-prepare kami Lagi naman kami nag-enjoy. Kung ano man trabaho binigay sa amin, nag-enjoy lang ako. But after Sparkle You, you'll have a different part for na. Kasi yes, si Shining Skate. Inheritance. Yes. yes po. So Shining Inheritance, anong feeling mo? Kasi you are the lead. You are yeah. the male lead talaga. So, nung, naba, nung in-offer sa'yo doon, nabasa mo yung street, pinanood mo ba yung uh, 2009 territory? And... Yeah, so, I first heard about it, nag-screen like, test po ako with Kate. Uh, parang then, I read the character and I fell in love with it. Sabi ko, Lord, pinagdasal ko talaga araw-araw na gusto ko makuha to and I, it's something na ang, ang ganda ng yes you want and then after that po pinanood ko yung K-drama sabi ko one episode lang just to get the gist natapos ko in, in less yeah, than a week 27 episodes <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> ang ganda grabe ang ganda ng story talagang ma- nakaka-addict and nakaka nakaka-fall yes. yung story so sabi ko um, nung nalaman ko na na official that I'll be playing as you want of course it's pressure kasi yung mga kasama ko Kylie and Kate Miss Connie Reyes yes. there's, there's pressure but for me I just make sure the pressure is good in a sense na I need to prove the people right who put me in the position and prove the people wrong that oh, will bring me down so this is my big break to really yeah, make my mark in this industry kaya really preparing and uh, working hard for this I don't show. know if you're familiar now with the character with the uh, with the actors that you will be playing yeah. pero yung actor na yan uh, diyan siya talaga sumikat at saka uh, yun diyan siya talaga sumikat and yung telestory na yan until now holds uh, the highest rating K-drama of all time wow yeah uh, it got more, more <laughs> than pressure mo naman siya it got more than 47 percent rating at sa GMA I think 3 times mo na yata yung uh, Nagkala ng Tagalog adaptation, okay? And then, so, ma- uh, Michael, ang question ko sa'yo, kasi nga, yung goal mo na po portray dito, if, dahil napanood mo na, di ba? Parang first 10 to 12 episode, kaiinisang ka yes. ng mga viewers. Yes. That's all how I do it. Okay. So, ready ka na ba doon? Kasi pwede rin na yung character ni Paul, sa kanya magkaroon ng ano, uh, ma-endure. Yung mga yeah. mga sa first show ko po, Love, is ako yung si Paul doon. Ako yung good boy mm-hmm. and then si Niro naman yung bad boy. Um, but what I really like about Yuan is his journey in the in the story. I mean, talagang maainis ka sa kanya I mean, if you watch the K-drama. But during the end, makikita mo yung character development niya. And for me, that's uh, that's something we would want as an actor because you can add layers to the, the character. And me, given the opportunity to do that in this show, I'm excited. Para kung mahate man ako ng tao, 
dapat effective, ganun, no? <laughs> so, dapat hindi yung goal eh. Yes, pero at the end, saan mahalin pa rin. Dapat ikaw ang pipiliin nila. Yes, o, or the other. <laughs> Tapos, ang karamihan ng scene mo dito ay with uh, Miss Connie Reyes. Mm-hmm, so, paano know, mo ito pinagahandaan? Um, I started, kasi po ako when I work with other new actors, small talk talaga. So, nung first time mo, meet ka pa daw kasi of course legend po yun and nakikita ko yun nung bata pa ako so I really told her Miss Connie I'm so happy that you're my lola here and I'm so nervous at the same time but she's so um, she's so warm talagang bait-bait niya po kaya nakaka-excite makatrabaho siya ano sabi niya sa'yo kasi kayong ikaw nga yung apo niya dito eh Opo. na cherish apo oh. laging sinasabi niya ang pogi nung apo niya so medyo parang kinikilig ako na wow galing kay Miss Connie Reyes yun so Ang bait lang niya, and she's the type na approachable. And if she has something wrong with you, she'll say it. Very vocal siya, and I, I really respect 